Welcome to week 2 of module 11. Last week we began the module with an examination of the concept of worldviews and then looked at the basic assumptions that make up a worldview. This might be a good time to review those assumptions. Recall that the critical worldview assumptions concern the existence and nature of God, the nature of the universe, human nature, human death, epistemology, or how we know things, ethics, or how we know right from wrong, and the purpose of human existence. As you begin to clarify your own assumptions, keep in mind that this is prime material for your values paper and presentation, which are due at the end of the module on week 5. In week 2, the investigation of personal values continues as we look at the issues of personal integrity and personal identity. First, we will use Arthur Miller's play, Death of a Salesman, to examine the problem of self-deception and the ways in which such dishonesty impacts individuals and relationships. As you first read Miller's play and then watch the movie starring Dustin Hoffman, you will see how dishonesty affects Willie Loman and his family. This is not a particularly uplifting story but many learners will relate to both Willie's problems and those of his family. We have found from experience that reading the play and then watching the performance is the most effective way to understand the truths contained in Miller's work. Later in the module you will watch Bill Moyer's documentary The Truth About Lies for another perspective on the subject of dishonesty. As you reflect on Willie Loman's story, consider where does he get his sense of self-worth? What is the attitude of Willie and the other characters toward material possessions? How concerned is Willie with what others think of him and his sons? How concerned is he with the ethical lapses of himself and his sons? And what seems to be the long-term effect of self-deception on Willie? In the second part of the week, you will read Parker Palmer's Let Your Life Speak, which deals how we construct our self-identity based on the expectations of others and our society, as well as in response to the varying pressures of life. It is Palmer's belief that such pressures create a false self, and he suggests some ways that we can recover a sense of our true self that will allow us to live a more authentic, and fulfilling existence by making the most of our unique gifts and abilities. As we work through this week's material, you will come to better understand the importance of personal honesty and integrity and an accurate or true sense of self-identity. As with the previous week's materials, this will require thought and reflection, and the answers to your worksheet questions should reflect that. Be sure to contact your instructor if you have any questions.